Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Mac and Go Lab. Today we're going to be talking about cannula transfer, which is a useful technique when we're transferring uh, pyrophoric materials or air sensitive liquids, which we need a large volume to transfer. So as you can see, I have our setup here. We have our transfer flask and our receiving flask. They've already been cycled onto the slant line. Now, if you need a very specific amount of liquid, what you might want to do beforehand is pre-measure the volume and mark it on the receiving flask. Today, we don't need that kind of detail, so we're not going to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to be using this double-tipped cannula needle, so it's important to be very careful with this when handling it. We're going to go ahead and insert the first end into our transfer flask. We don't want to put it all the way into the liquid just yet. Before we do that, we're going to give it a few seconds for the nitrogen to flow through and purge out any air that might be in the needle. Now we can go ahead and insert it into our receiving flask. As you can see, there's no transfer occurring yet. Now what we can do is we can close this to the nitrogen. Now we're going to take our bleed needle, go ahead and twist pull, we'll insert it into our receiving flask, now we're ready for our transfer. Go ahead and insert the needle into the liquid, as you can see, it's already started to flow through. So at the moment, we've got a steady flow of liquid occurring. But in some reactions, we may want a dropwise addition, which we can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the bleed needle, open our receiving flask to nitrogen, and this is going to re-equalize the pressure between the flasks and create a siphon. And as you can see, this has already started our dropwise addition. So the first method of control is by lowering our transfer flask. The second method we can do to increase the rate of the flow is to lower the cannula into the receiving flask. Now when you've achieved the desired volume of liquid, go ahead and raise the cannula above the level of liquid in the transfer flask, remove the cannula, again situational awareness is important here, you're dealing with a double-ended needle, and now we need to clean the inside. So what we can do is take a beaker of acetone, And with a flask under back, and go ahead and insert the needle. Insert one end into the acetone. And give it a couple seconds to clean out the inside of the cannula. Once it's clean, we'll rinse the outside with acetone. We'll rinse it with water. We'll rinse it with acetone one more time and we'll put it in the oven. And that's how you perform a cannula transfer.